Hi, we're back on Smells Like 90s Rock. It's Sheila, Hot Toddy, and DJ Pork. I think maybe Sheila has come down from her chafed nipples rant. Yeah, it was good. I mean, I'm still no happier with the world, but, you know, I got I to get some catharsis there. Get it, you're getting it back. You're coming back down. It's fine. Yeah. But, but I mean, that's that's the quote of the century. No to chafed nipples and, and Ken doll p- penises. I think that's... What's really funny though is that like during the last segment, I looked, I googled ninety songs about uh, like broken ankles and got next to nothing. Yeah, and I I just googled ninety songs about bikes and there's a bunch. Well, that's not surprising. <clears throat> about bikes though, <laughs> it's, it's such a. I feel like ninety songs were about anything. Just whatever. Well, I feel like in the nineties, you could ride your bike. Like nowadays, you die. Yeah. Right? Either in the heat or by someone kidnapping you. Take your yeah. pick. Take your pick. Well, people got abducted in the 90s. Oh, well, I'm sure they did, yes. Um, <clears throat> but still, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like that was the last one. That was the last decade. Mm-hmm. That you people got before. abducted? <laughs> that you can okay. go out there, that you can ha- ride your bike and enjoy it that was, that was my thing yeah that was before like global warming i think took over the world and that's right that was before it was 95 degrees in the summer as opposed to in tennessee, high, in specifically. tennessee as opposed to mid to high 80s like it had always been now you die yeah, anybody going to bonnaroo this uh, this I guess it's this weekend, isn't it's it? Right, it would be right now. Yes, as you're right listening. To this. Yeah, anybody, uh, one of my coworkers <laughs> going. Anybody who's going, or or him for that matter, I, f- I feel for you this time. Seriously, though, I mean, <clears throat> it was a challenge ten years ago, to, right? Given how hot it was, I can't imagine right now. <laughs> I, I know some people that are going, and uh, for the for the people capacity alone, I wouldn't want to go. But then you. you Mix in the factor of, of 95 degree heat. That just sounds awful. It'll be no, more like Burning go. Man. Yeah, no mm-hmm. reprieve. Do what? It'll be more like and Burning Man than uh, literal than Burning Man. Yeah. Because <clears throat> there's only so much hydration you can do. Like when you walk out and you're just pouring buckets of sweat. Yeah. Oh, well, there's the F word. Better sense of that. <laughs> what did mm-hmm. you say? She she said the f word, so you better. You better she said bucket. Oh, okay, you're whoops. pouring buckets of sweat. Oh, whoops. pouring I heard the f word. Sorry. <laughs> and we hear you hear what you want to hear. We we hear we hear nice things. You hear bad things. I'm used to being around foul mouth coworkers. Forgive me. Hey, we're we're foul mouth too, just not this on the air. Makes sense with the f word. You're pouring oh. effing sweat. Oh. oh. You put the ing on in everything. You really just like made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he Something is a bike, he is a bike person. So I mean that, that's that, true. They hear they hear, you know, a bike person without a bike without a bike. And click your ears from the f word. <laughs> <laughs> Take the Vaseline out of your ears. <clears throat> that was for your nipples. What did you say? I said that was for his nipples. <laughs> He got in the wrong spot. Well, he got confused and put it in his ears. So I didn't just, just move it down. Just yeah, just, it down. just move it down. Yes, I'm officially over my COVID, too. Isn't that nice? <clears throat> that's wonderful news. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. right. I th- that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Although I went to... I had to go back to work, and one of my... Everybody was like, hey, it's good to have you back. And one guy said the most fancy Long John Silver's thing ever. He said, "I said, yeah, it's good to have you back. I know, I know how it feels. I got it twice. I got the, the original strain and L- Omicron, and I was in prison. <laughs> oh my goodness! And I was in prison. <laughs> that is the most fancy Long John Silver. <laughs> now, was it in that? Was it in that order, or <laughs> was it? He or, held back the and I was in prison thing to the very last. Well, so, you know, I'm assuming, he's in prison. I'm assuming he was in prison." When he was both shot both times, right? He's a very nice guy, coincidentally. Oh, Here we go. Yes, of course, of course. Here we go. He's a really great guy. 
you know, if you read yeah. like Jeffrey you... Dahmer's, you know, autobiography, yeah. it was just focused on how nice he was and every church he went to, and <laughs> he's a really nice guy, except like, for you know the whole eating people he did part. Seem like a very, he did seem like a very soft-spoken individual in all of his interviews. <laughs> well, there you go. Did, did Janelle ask? Did, did you get? Did, would you give him a, a massage? Uh, very good question. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Never say never. We never thought you'd give who who was it you gave a massage to that one time? The dirty bubble. The, the dirty bubble. That was another one of his nicknames, the dirty bubble. Uh, we don't know him as that here, I'm afraid. What, yeah. what, what big was, dookie. What? Oh, big dookie. That's right. You gave big dookie a massage. That's right, yeah. Well, well, another never... one, one of his nicknames was the dirty bubble <laughs> from SpongeBob. SpongeBob. I'm familiar with the dirty but Man Ray and the Dirty Bubble. I'm, I'm familiar, but um <laughs> <laughs> yeah